hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time to be here where have you been make sure you tap all your friends who are also not here to come and join and learn as much as you can this youtube video or my youtube channel I use it to make sure I educate everyone. I educate the parent, I educate the teachers, the all professionals, the practitioners, everyone learns something. And there's something to learn on my YouTube channel. Again, we are back with Asaf. And Asaf is taking us through treatment approaches for stammering. If you have not watched the previous video, please go and watch the previous video so that you can be able to flow and know what are we treating and why are we treating stammering and what is stammering you need to know all those things from the previous video please go catch up with the previous video then join us on this video and before we look at treatment approaches we want asaf to know who you are my name is asaf mwangi i'm a special need teacher and i'm also a speech and language therapist yes yes how can we get in touch with you you can get in touch through linda Yes, she has my number. <laughs> and also I can leave my email at, at the, on the comment section if you want to reach out to Asaf. So Asaf, take us through the treatment approaches of yes. stammering. Good. When you talk about the treatment of stammering, we should also ask ourselves, who does it? Okay. In, uh, especially in our Kenyan context. Yeah. Uh, it is a multidisciplinary approach, but the lead therapist is a speech language therapist. That is the lead person for the treatment. But behind the scene, there are some others. And the speech and language therapist may refer, if need be, to other specialists. And even the, when we talk about the young child, uh, the parent also become part and parcel of the treatment. But first, let's talk about the child. A child treatment or approach, we have what we call direct approach or an indirect approach. When you talk about the direct approach, here is when the speech and language therapist come and assess the child and work with the child one to one. One on one. Yes. Then indirect is when the speech and language therapist train the significant others who are in the house, the teachers. If, if the child is a school going child, how they can modify the environment for the child to be fluent. So what you're telling us, Asaf, you're telling us teachers, parents, yes. or people who are in contact with the child with friends and difficulties yes. or yes. stammering, yes. can be trained by a speech therapist yes. to, to make the environment conducive or yes. to, adjust, to adjust environment that can support this child. To be fluent. All right. Yes. And if you look at it here, yeah, when a child comes to see a speech and language therapist, whose effort? Is a parent. Yes. But where an adult it's is the only effort. Yeah. Yes. Now that now makes difference because if an adult come to see me, that they mean that they know that they have stammering and they have that inner motivation to be fluent. A child may not even be aware. At two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, they, they may not even be aware. That they have some Unless other children tell them yes. there's a problem there's a the problem. way you talk. Yes. For them of children, they, they are not even aware yes. they are stammering. Yeah. So also the treatment also depend with gender. Mm -hmm. Another thing is what we call hierarchy of stammering. So you'll see someone who stammers more when they talk to their bosses. Someone who stammer more when they talk to the members of opposite gender or sex. You may get someone who some are more when they go talk to strangers and when they are with their relatives or in their family, they are so fluent. So that means if maybe a man is approaching a woman, they yeah. may stammer. They when may a woman is yes. approaching the man, we call it stammer. the hierarchy of stammering. Okay. Because at each and every individual, mm -hmm. especially adults, they have different hierarchy of stammering. All right. Yeah, the situation, okay. the situation which makes them stammer more. Okay. Yes. But the most three areas, three approaches, uh, mm -hmm. which are used and which are documented for mm -hmm. to treat the stammering mm -hmm. is what we call the three. The first one is psychological. Remember what we said about the cause. Yeah, if the, the cause, cause is, is psychogenic, mm -hmm. that means it must be approached from a psychological mm, point approach, of point okay. of view, to, to treat it. Okay. If this child is stammering or if this adult started to stammer when they were 
when he or she was a child because mm. of going through a traumatic, psychological traumatic experience, mm. then the only thing which can heal him fully is going through psychological therapy, mm. through okay. a, a psychoanalyst or a psychologist or a counselor. Okay. Yes, together with support of speech and language therapist. Okay. Then we have also what we call the... Um, taking yeah. you, before you take yes. us to the second approach, yes. taking you to the first approach. How often does it, how often does it occur? Or how often does it happen? It, it happens, it happens. In fact, traumatic, uh, traumatic experience mm -hmm. cause a lot of communication disorders. Not only, not only uh, disfluency or it, stammering. In a layman's language, yes. what do you mean traumatic experiences? Traumatic experience is going through something or which is which traumatize or which a bad experience. Can uh, can an accident be traumatic? Yes, on how you feel it. Yes. Like <coughs> let's say a child was climbing the first floor, fall down. Can that be traumatic? Uh, it can also be a it can be also be a neurogenic because if a child have the TBI, the traumatic brain injury, mm -hmm. it can cause. We are talking about psychological. Psychological. Not ones. not an accident. Would you, would you like expand <coughs> a little? Uh, let me give you an example. Yeah. Uh, two years ago, I had a a sister, a sister and a brother of five years, five years and seven years. Mm -hmm. who came to see me because they, they started to start up. But when we dug the history, it was the, the parents were going up through a divorce. Mm -hmm. So that's a psychological trauma to the child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now mm -hmm. you get it? Oh, yeah. I get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And also for the sake of the ones who are watching it, yeah. what is that trauma? Yes. What is that trauma? trauma. Okay. Yeah, those rape. Oh, oh those someone things. can yes. even go through rape. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because maybe there's someone who went through rape and they stammer, yes. but they don't even know why they started stammering. In a, in a traumatic experience, but it also depends on someone because we are saying that people go through the same traumatic experience, but they, we, we don't come out of it the same. For same. example, when a, child, a parent is tough to a child, when yeah. they, for example, like a dad who is known to be a very tough dad, mm -hmm. and every time he comes to the house, he beat, he will. Yes, it can, can that cause. It make can the cause. It, it can. Okay. It okay. may, yeah. It's not a must, but it may. It may. Yes. All yes, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The other treatment approach is what we call fluency shaping approach. Fluency shaping approach. approach. Please, now, in a layman's now, language. Yeah, this is a person who comes and they want to be fluent. Okay. They want to be fluent like you. Okay. Yes. So, and they have been stuttering. So there, there's this approach whereby we train them on the voicing, the correct voicing, uh, the rhythm, the rate of speech, like what we call uh, pro prolonged speech therapy, uh, prolonged speech technique. But now in that frequency shaping approach, there are so many other techniques depending on individual. Yes. We can even lower the words per minute which the person say. Mm -hmm. the, what we call the light contact, mm -hmm. which, which, which are now deep for to, to, to expound on here mm -hmm. uh, on the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But there are some clients who come and they want to be fluent. So does that happen to the children? Do the clients who come as children or the handles? No, it, it's also at our own discretion as you know, the therapist oh, okay, to the, see uh -huh. whether the child or the adult uh, can achieve the fluency and then if they can mm -hmm. then we use the fluency shaping approach okay. yes it also depends on the individual and the magnitude of the stammering, oh, stammering. yes and those characteristics of the summary which are there okay yes okay. yeah but mostly are adults Yes, adults. Adults, adults they're the yes. ones who come. Yes, yeah. yes. Because those are the ones who already know I stammer. I stammer. I've been told yes, or I've yes. known yes. I stammer. Yes. Now I need to go for this for kind this. of treatment. Yes. All right. Then there's what we call modifying stuttering or modifying stammering. Okay. Now, here what we do is we let this person stammer. What? Yes. But in okay. a fluent manner. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do you get it? Yeah. You stammer more fluent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. So that you is, still stammer. I don't know. I, okay, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying because, to understand on behalf of those who are yes, watching. The issue here is for you to communicate. Okay. Okay. Whether you stutter or not. If 
your speech cannot be fluent. Mm -hmm. What do we do? We help you to start up fluent. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you go deeper into that? Yes. At here, because here. I'm, I'm trying to, someone mm -hmm. doesn't know what is stammering. Yes. They are watching, maybe this is the first conversation they, they have ever had of stammering. Yes. Yes. So that's why I'm taking you back. Like, can you break it down? Can you, yes. so that someone who, who is just wondering, what is this? You know, yes. can be able, we can be able to reach yes. to those who are str struggling to, to connect with us. Yes. as they watch the video. I remember what I said. Mm -hmm. uh, some people mm -hmm. who stopper, mm -hmm. they avoid some situation, okay. and they avoid some words. Yeah, yeah. So in here, when we help someone mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. modify the stammering, we also help them not to avoid those situations. We help them not to avoid those oh. words. We help them what we cannot see. Remember the iceberg, what we see. There's what you, you see, and there was there's what you cannot mm. see. So we also deal with what you cannot see. All right. Yes. You see. So they'll still stutter, but they'll communicate what they need to communicate. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So then that's now. But yes. in, in that still, mm -hmm. the speed therapist will now also try to see. There's what we call the pull out techniques in the mm -hmm. same techniques. In that, yes. But now, that's now deeper. When now you go for, for the assessment, that's mm -hmm. when now the speech and language therapists will now see. Okay. Yes, but those, those are the three major treatment techniques. Mm -hmm. And all in all, we also do what we call desensitization. Okay. Uh, this one we call it voluntary stammering. Mm -hmm. Because we want to reduce that fear, mm -hmm. that negative emotion, that frustration, mm -hmm. that anxiety, mm -hmm. which someone, when they start to have, Mm -hmm. So with this, what we call voluntary stammering, which mm -hmm. help in desensitization. Yeah. This whereby we go to some place and then maybe in a, in a hotel or maybe outside the, the clinic room mm -hmm. and we try not to stutter. Fluent? No, you are just stuttering, mm -hmm. but you want to start and you get used to the people's reaction. Because okay, a person who starts, okay. it's, it's not about their own reaction with mm -hmm. they suffer, it's, their, it's your own reaction. For them, they have no issue, it is us. Even this child, when they are speaking, mm. at four years, five years, do they know? But the reaction from the listener is, children, is what yeah. now will make him be aware. And how does tension, the negative feelings, the negative attitude, the self-esteem goes down. So for that treatment approach, that's what now you're wondering? Yes. So now we, we help them to stutter, mm -hmm. and then they get what yes. we call voluntary stammering. So, so, so that, this in case, even if you are also training them how to be fluent, mm -hmm. in case mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. lapse, mm -hmm. they don't get those negative feelings, negative All right. attitudes. All right. yeah. At that point, are you also working on the specific sums? That they struggle with yes it depends on which sounds for yes, example for each, let's yeah. say every time a child is using sound s, mm -hmm. a letter s mm -hmm. maybe they want to talk about the snake or the sun mm -hmm. you know or the salt mm -hmm. or yes. the sugar yes. you know they are like yes. so now here is where we now we look at this sound and remember what we said about the repetition mm -hmm. block and programmation yeah so now we look, is this sound, mm -hmm. is the child saying s, or is the child saying s, mm -hmm. or is the child saying s? Okay. So the intervention will also go back to the individual and the type of the, the characteristic of the disfluency mm -hmm. in, in that person or in that child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because a, an approach for the block will be different from an approach of repetition. Prolongation. Yes, Yes. Okay. So every approach depends on the characteristics that are exhibiting yes. with yes. the child exactly. or with the adult yes. who is stammering. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. So those are the three approaches. Those are the three approaches, but in those three approaches, mm -hmm. there are some other techniques there. Like that, when we talk about the uh, shaping the fluency, you hear people talking about the diaphragmatic breathing or the mm -hmm. deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of it? 
Yeah, yeah, DPS. Yes, yes, as a speech yes, therapy, yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. There's what we call the prolonged speech, whereby we start with the 40 words per minute, and then we go to 60 words per minute, 80 words per minute, 100 words per minute. Yeah. So, but all this also depends with individual clients. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because even if you have 10 people starter, mm -hmm. they start a different. Even though we now get 10 people yes. as speech therapy to work with. Yes, and what, and what there is under the iceberg is yeah. so, so different mm -hmm. among them. Among yeah. them. Yes. Okay, okay, yes. okay. And uh, for the handles? Yes. Let me today let me focus a little on the handles. Huh? Yes. I'm always talking about children, yes. so today please viewers allow me today to focus a little on adults. So for the adults now yes. who are stammering or stuttering, whichever people prefer, yes. do they get help? Yeah, they do get help and the help is there. Uh, the good thing is that as I told you before, mm -hmm. adults is from their own initiative. That yeah. they go looking for help. Okay. And an adult is not like a child, so you mm -hmm. can even take give take home assignment yeah. or some activities. Yeah. Yes, a child, no, you cannot. But but an adult, they can go ahead with a with take home assignment, assignment. and they can be trained on a certain techniques, and then they are told practice this one for the next three days. And when you come for the next session, mm. you can review on. Oh, both they, now handle two stammers, yeah. and at the <coughs> same time, they don't want to go to, to seek speech therapy. Because I know there's a parent watching and says, I have a brother with stammers and he's 30. I think it's, or it's, I have a boss with stammers and he's, you know, I have someone with stammers. People, people don't get, people have their own reasons not to get help. Okay. One thing maybe they are not aware. Okay. One, the second maybe they don't think that it can work. Okay. The other thing, they are okay, okay if, with it. They are okay with it. That if someone is okay with it, what do you do? Yeah, yeah, that's when I get it. Yes. Now we go to our children. Yeah? Yes. A child who is stammering at six years or seven yes. years. Yes. Do they, they do, have you, the rate of improvement, how is it? Uh, when it started early. It started at three years or four years? Four years. Okay. There is a lot of success. Oh. Yes. But also, it also depends mm -hmm. with some other factors. You know now you being this stammering has been one of your area. I know for sure this is your area, your area. So as you work with children who are five years or seven years or eight years, does the stammering completely disappear or there is a lot of improvement? Okay, there are some with which become lesser. They they become more smooth, yeah. Uh, because you see, when we work with the children, we talk. We we don't even want them to know that they are stammering. Okay. We we say that you are. You are speaking smooth, mm. yeah, or, or there is some bumpy, or maybe the way you are speaking has some bumps. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the language which we use when we are doing therapy for a child. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we say, oh, you have, you are smooth. When they start, we, 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 we even ask them, were you bumpy? Mm -hmm. Was there bumpy somewhere? Then they say, yes, yes, yes. In this word, it was bumpy. Okay. Yes. So that is a work for children. Yes. The way you treat the child is not the way you treat the, the handles. Yes, it's, it's, it's very different. Okay, but yeah. the approaches are those three for both children, yeah, for both children. and adults. But now, every every time there is new uh, approach treatment te techniques, uh, because if you go to other developed country, the lead cob, uh, lead cob is, is used for treating the children and, and not for the adults. Adults now, here in Kenya, they have a support group. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which support group it does not even help you to be fluent. Mm -hmm. It's just that you go out and you see that you are not only you, mm -hmm. there are some other people like you, mm -hmm. and then you share your journey, you share mm -hmm. your experience, mm -hmm. and psychologically you get some healing from ah. it. Yes. But for handout is work. For children, yeah. sorry, it's work. No, for children there is no support group. Mm -hmm. Yes, but for mm -hmm. the adult there is a support group. All right, yes. all right. Here in Kenya. In Kenya. In Nairobi. Okay. And there's another one which was started during the COVID time in Busia. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think we have come to the end of this video. We can talk and talk and talk about stammering. So parent, if you have a child is stammering, please get us a help. 
as early as you can. It is not too hard to take your child to get your birth three years or four years or five years. Where your child is, please seek intervention from a speech and language therapist. They are there. I can give you a subs number as half number under my comment section i actually when i post the video you love the as half number so that you can be able to reach out to him if you're working on stammering as well for adults who are stammering if you're watching this and you have a brother a sibling and uncle and aunt yes. you know who is stammering please you know this as half as told us is personal initiative eh? please also you support them emotionally, psychologically, support them to go and seek help. Thank you so, so much for joining us. And thank you so much, Asaf, for coming in and giving this knowledge. Knowledge is it's power, eh? For giving us all this knowledge. I know my viewers appreciate yes, as but well. Let, let me warn them. Never try to finish a word or a sentence or guess what the person who started want to say. Okay, Never please. do that. Please. Yes, please look at the camera please don't do that if i want to say i want to go to the shop and then i say i want to go to the and then you finish for me uh, that's not good that is not good that's not good give them time let them finish what they have to say okay thank you you have hand please subscribe and share this video with everybody you know see you on the next video thank you